Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So before I make this video, uh, well actually I just made the video, before I go into it I just want to let you guys know there's not going to be any gameplay. It's kind of like a vlog slash update of what's going to happen on the YouTube channel uh, for the next couple weeks. So as of right now, I'm sure you guys have noticed, it's been primarily flooded with all Path of Exile related content. Even though, if you guys don't know this, I am actually a variety broadcaster and variety YouTuber. And then those are actually my favorite genre, but no offense, pretty much every single one of them suck. There are a couple that are okay, Old School RuneScape, Black Desert, Final Fantasy, but it's just too much of a time sink for me right now, so I haven't really put much into it. Anyway, let's move on to the more important things. Since they delayed the beta for about a month, I'm sure you guys know this if you looked on like the Path of Exile website, I decided that I want to open up my YouTube channel and my stream to a little bit of variety um, for the next two to three weeks until the beta comes out because there's only so many times you can restart a character, you know? So basically, I've made already like, I don't know, 11, 12 characters this league to like level 80 plus almost. Uh, I have two level 96s, a level 94. Uh, the two 96s are almost 97. I've put quite a bit of time into this league. And then people go, oh, do you want to play solo cell found? Well, if I did that, I'd restart my character again, right? And then when the beta comes, I'd be restarting again. And then after the beta, guess what? We restart again because it's a new league. So I'm trying to, you know, minimize the amount of times I have to redo the game over and over uh, because, it, you know, it does get a little tiring every so often. So I decided I wanted to open up uh, to a bit of variety. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down a list of games uh, that potentially may appear on the stream in the next couple days and of course with YouTube as well um, And I'll just take this list and just paste it into the comments in the description below. So um, Now on top of this one thing I do want to note is I've been doing this thing called like poe half days Where basically I'll stream like anywhere from like three to five hours of Path of Exile And then if I feel that I don't really want to continue it I'll switch over to another game, you know on Steam and just have fun with that for a little bit And then you know the morning comes again and we'll start off with Path of Exile so, uh, we've got Grim Dawn, although I don't know if I'm going to be doing Grim Dawn as of now, just because there is an expansion coming up soon, and I don't know exactly when the expansion is. Old School RuneScape is the only MMO that I'm actually kind of playing, because you can kind of like jump in and out whenever you want. I've got an Iron Man 120 combat, so that's always fun. Binding of Isaac Re or Afterbirth Plus. I've heard pretty bad things about the new well, Afterbirth Plus, but I remember Afterbirth is pretty cool. Risk of Rain. Um, which is kind of like a roguelike style game. Hive Jump is like a shooter platformer. Kingdom of Loot is a game uh, one of my subs gifted to me, Frank, and supposedly it's like a, like a little 8-bit MMO or some, something like that. Uh, Rivals of Aether is kind of like Super Smash Bros. Melee meets different graphics, and I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, Secrets of Grindea, I put out a lot of content on my YouTube before. It's also a roguelike style game. Uh, Speedrunners is a game that's just fun to just have, like, you basically, it's like, imagine there's an arena, and you have a character, and your goal is to continuously lap around the arena, and whenever one guy gets off the screen, so, like, say, here's the person in first, here's the guy in last, if the screen passes him, this guy dies, and the screen starts to shrink, um, and you can, you know, it's basically like Mario Kart, except there's no cars, you just run really fast and have a permanent grapple. I don't think that's a good description, but anyway, uh, we've got Rogue Stormers, which is a game I just recently got. It is a roguelike game as well. It's like a shooter style one though, that has like a like a progression loop. Stardew Valley is kind of like a farming simulator, sort of. Uh, Takaiden 2 is supposedly a lot like Monster Hunter, although I tried it recently and I couldn't really get into it because there's just so many things I didn't really understand. Uh, Witcher 3, I'm sure you guys know what Witcher 3 is. Uh, Super Rude Bear Resurrection is a platformer that's integrated with Twitch, meaning uh, Twitch chat itself can actually kind of decide what happens in the game. They can like summon something that fucking one-shots you, they can invert your controls, flip your screen, it's pretty interesting. Pylon Rogue is another roguelike style game that's uh, very heavily built upon like block mechanics uh, and basically iframing everything. Uh, and then Gibbs. Gibbs is another, I don't really know what to call it, it's kind of like Castle Crashers. Except you're always fighting zombies and you have guns and then like a melee weapon and then you spec exactly like Castle Crashers would, for example. And the last one, and this one will most likely be on the stream, like 95%, I believe today, um, Green Dude, if you guys don't know who Green Dude is, he's actually was my first subscriber on Twitch and he's the guy who owns or mainly runs all the Path of Diablo servers. I believe there's a reset happening, um, so I'm not really going to compete to like fucking race or anything, but... Path of Diablo, the last time I played, was a lot of fun. I didn't really know 100% of what was going on. I got into hell with two characters. I had, like, a like a, a Frozen Orb Hydra Sorceress, and then I had, like, some Wake of Fire Trapper that got shit on, so I had to go, like, Lightning Sentry because fucking everything was fire immune. Um, 
So, and he supposedly integrated and changed a bunch of stuff. He does his own balance changes, which is really cool. There's a bunch of, like, uh, modded things kind of related to Path of Exile. And from what I was just told, he introduced a new inventory system um, that basically, like, you have a subsection for charms, so you don't have to fucking crowd your inventory. Which is beautiful! Oh, that's so cool. And no, I'm not gonna be playing Median Excel or any of this other stuff. I know you guys may have liked it, but this is what I want to test out. Uh, if you guys want me to play some other games and whatnot, you can drop them down below. You can just send me a whisper, you can send me a YouTube comment, you can send me to my business email, you can send it to my personal email, you can hit me up on Twitch, you can hit me up on Twitter. Twitter, I, is, is, I'm still new with Twitter, I don't really know how to use it, it's kind of weird though. Um, you can DM me on Reddit, there's so many ways you could actually message me. I can't promise that I'm going to get to your game because basically, if you, get me the, if you show me the game, and I look at the game, and I like the game, then I message the developers, I'm like, hey, you know, would you, I'd like to feature your game on Twitch, would you mind sending me a key, you know, totally cool. Uh, so that's pretty much everything to come from there. Now, some other news is I meant to make this video for my living room because I don't know if you guys watched any of the previous streams when I was doing a little bit of variety like a week ago. We actually have living room stream set up out there on our 70 inch TV so you can see the webcam beams down to the couch and everything and I can pretty much just uh, sit there and chill with my controller and just have as much fun as I'd like. Um, and that's going to be really cool because whenever I set up my console streaming, which I basically just need like two more, I just need to get like two cords um, for my Elgato, and then I can set up like Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, Sega, um, what else do I have? Nintendo Wii? Nobody cares about Wii. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all the stuff that's happening as of right now. Uh, I'll still keep you guys updated, you know, like my Caustic Arrow character is the current character I'm playing, so I'll have probably a video up by the end of today. Um, you know, covering that, and everything will pretty much resume absolutely normal. I just want you guys to know I'm adding some more variety to the YouTube channel up until the Path of Exile beta releases. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. And of course, you know, like I always say, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. And if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. The weight loss is going great. I don't know if you guys can tell, but, uh... It's fucking curly armpit hair. Isn't that weird, dude? I, I never understood that. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one, boys.